Okay, so multiplying and dividing with negative numbers is quite simple. We've just got to remember some rules. First thing we need to remember is that if there's not a sign before the number, it means really it's a positive. Okay, if someone asked how old you were, you wouldn't necessarily say I'm positive 15 or I'm positive 8. So when there's not a sign, it means it's positive. The next thing we need to remember is that if both the signs are the same, so they're both positives, or like on this bottom example, they're both negatives, the answer is positive. If they're different signs, so we've got on these two examples, we've got one plus, one positive, and one negative, then the answer is going to be negative. So the first thing we do is work out, ignore all the signs and work out the answer. So for all of these, they're all going to be 25 because they're all 5 times 5. And then the next thing we do is check the sign. So because these are both positive, the answer is a positive 25. Because on these two examples, they're different signs, there's one positive and one negative, the answer is going to be minus 25. And for the last example, because both signs are negative, it makes a positive. If the signs are the same, the answer is a positive. Have a go at these four in your books. Press pause and then press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so for our first example, 3 times 6 is 18. And because the signs are different, there's one negative and one positive. It's minus 18. Next example, 9 times 4 is 36, and because both numbers are negatives, the answers are positive. 8 times 3 is 24, and again, because they're both positive numbers, the answer is positive. 7 times 2 is 14, and because the signs are different, one's a positive, one's a negative, it's minus 14.